Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and in this video, what we're going to do is look at how to plot logit co coefficients. So this um, this video video follows from the previous one. So again, we're using the 2011 Scottish census census data. Um, so let me just set the working directory and all this stuff here. Um, and then we also in the previous video talked about that we recoded the uh, marital status variable in the Scottish census to make it a dummy variable. So let me just run that. And then this was our model that we had used in the previous uh, videos where we had employment dummy as our outcome variable, then gender, general health, which is someone's health status, and then um, whether or not they're married or in a civil partnership. Okay, so I increased the font size here, so hopefully it shows up a little bit clearer in the videos. All right, so the standard thing to do when you do um, any type of regression is to create a regression table. That's kind of what we've been doing for decades and decades. Um, you can do, you can make a nice, actually, regression table out of um, R using the Stargazer package. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to do look at a quick way of how to just plot uh, uh, here logic coefficients, but they can apply to a bunch of different kind of linear models or GLM. So what we're going to use to do this is the coef plot function from the coef plot library. So we just need to activate that library. So we're going to do library coef plot. All right, so let's just activate that. And what this does, it pulls in uh, ggplot2. All right, so you need to have that installed as well. All right, so to just do a basic, we're going to go through a series of these. So to do the most basic version, the function is just coefplot, and then the uh, object that we want to plot. So here it's model1. So we do that. We'll run that. And then in the right here, it comes up. Now, um, what we can do to look at it, uh, you know, to get a better look at this is just click zoom. All right, and then maximize that, okay. And so this shows us um, the relationships here. So uh, just quickly, we, we have it at zero right here. We have this uh, vertical dash line, and then these are our confidence intervals, all right. Um, and so the you know when you're looking at this so these results correspond to the regression results that we saw from the table so the point here is the actual coefficient and then the confidence intervals are these lines around here and so in traditional statistical significance testing if any of the confidence intervals crosses this zero line here then that variable is not statistically significant all right, so as we saw from the regression table, our three predictors here are uh, significant. Uh, we also have the intercept down here. All right, so that's the most basic version that you can do on this. All right, now what I usually do um, in, in classes is make it look a bit nicer. And to do that, what we're going to do is use the same function here, coefplot, and then model1. And then what we're going to do is set our inner confidence intervals, which are going to be the thick lines, equal to 2. So that's two standard deviations, which works out to roughly the 95% confidence intervals. And then we're going to set the outer ones, which are that skinny line, equal to 0. And then what we also are going to do is, we, because we don't really care that much about the intercept, is we're going to set that to be false. So intercept, did I spell that wrong? No, okay intercept equals false okay so let's highlight that and run that okay so let's click on the zoom again and then maximize that window all right so we have now that the intercept is gone so now you can uh, more clearly see what's going on with these coefficients and the confidence intervals all right so let's say that we want to dress this up some more okay um, that we want to put a title on here and change, you know, for instance, maybe the y axis and x axis. Um, we can add some additional stuff to this. Now, there's, you know, a whole bunch of ways that you can do these things. 
Uh, there's a whole bunch of things you can do within the coef plot function. Uh, we're just going to dress this up a little bit here. So what we're going to do is coef plot again model one, and then we're going to again use inner ci equals two, outer ci equals zero, uh, and then intercept equals false again. Then I'm going to do a comma. And then let's add a title to this. We're going to call it here, you know, you can call it whatever you want, but let's just say lo logit regression. All right, something generic. It could be more specific to, to whatever you're looking at here. All right, so yeah, so it's title equals, and then in, in quotes, you do the logit regression. All right, um, on the y uh, axis, let's call this, so we're going to do Y lab. Let's call this predictors. Okay. And then another thing that we can do actually is we can change the ordering of uh, how the coefficients or how the variables are listed. So let's do this. We're going to do um, decreasing, oops, sorry, decreasing equals true. So that's going to change the ordering here. All right. Another thing that we might want to do is we might want to um, change the names here of our uh, so if we, of our coefficients. So right, these are our variable names, but let's say that we want to make them um, just look a little nicer. So we can actually set the names here. So we're going to do we're going to use this option called new and then names equals. And then we're going to use the concatenate function, which just pastes things together, sticks things together. And so we need to use the original name. So we have marital, we're going to just change these here. Marital dummy, which is our variable name. We're going to call it, we're just going to make it look a little nicer here. So we're going to call it marital dummy. Okay. Um, now, you know, if you have variables that are, completely you know strange like md1 or something like that then it definitely makes sense to do this all right so uh, we have our marital dummy let's do our general health here so we're going to set this we're just going to make this look a little nicer here general health all right and then again another comma and then finally uh, gender let's just make this capitalized so gender Okay, so I think that's it. We're seeing no errors coming up. So let's highlight all of this and run this. Okay, and then let's click on the zoom and we get a, a slightly better image here. These are, yeah, so these orderings are slightly, are slightly better. Okay, so again, you can play around with this. Let's see, let's see. Um, if decreasing, let's change that to see um, what the looks like. Let's see if we set it to false. How does that change it? Right, so that's what it was before. All right. Okay, so you can play around with this some and you know get this to look a different ways. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. We just did a quick look here at using the coef plot function in R. Um, again, it's a nice thing to do. It's pretty easy to use to uh, plot out your uh, regression coefficients instead of using a table. All right, so thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.